Yeah, Sue, that's an ugly slug of a uh, sweet potato, don't you reckon, folks? It's called ugly food, and this movement started where? It started in France, James. Does anyone buy this? <laughs> Absolutely, they do now. Yeah. It actually started back in 2014. Okay. A supermarket called Intermarché yeah. launched a movement called Inglorious Fruit and Vegetables. Inglorious. And Why? it was because in 2014, the EC mm. decided to call that year the year to reduce food waste. Oh, so how much food is wasted before well, it reaches supermarkets? Uh, on average, yeah. at least about 25% is wasted before even yeah. gets out of the farm gate. So it's a lot of waste, yeah. um, which sometimes look goes into making fruit mm. juice or um, mm. you know maybe for, uh, for stock feed. Um, sometimes it's given away, but mostly it's just dumped. Okay. So it's a huge waste of resources. Okay. Like so for water. each this great big eggplant, it yes. normally would not be sold because it's got what some creases and bumps and. Yeah, things can have yeah. warts and bumps, or maybe they're just not the right colour. Oranges yeah. might be quite pale looking. Yeah. But the key message, James, is. They taste just as good oh. and they're just as good for you nutrition wise okay. and you can often save between 30 to 50 percent of the cost so that's mm. got to be a bonus for families. So when I go to the supermarket <laughs> I'm looking for something completely unblemished that smooths anything you just think it's better for you. Well that's right this yeah. is what's happened and okay. we don't actually know what what started it all yeah. the supermarkets tend to blame the customers and okay. they say look the customers won't buy anything unless it mm. looks perfectly shaped and yeah, the perfect yeah. colour yeah. um, but um, you know some people blame mm. TV shows such oh, as okay. cooking shows yeah. because they're so focused on presentation mm. rather than being focused on the freshness but uh, what we found is through some recent research is people will buy it if mm. they know it's just as good for them and it's going to okay. save the money but half of the people in Australia for example haven't yet sought yeah. out these foods. I've never heard of it again mm. until I heard well, you. Well <laughs> major chains like yeah. Woolworths in okay. Australia for example and Harris Farm have oh. sections um, okay. such as the ugly um, bunch or imperfect picks so you just yeah. need to look for that section um, of the market mm. and you're going to save yourself money mm. and um, help to reduce food waste. How much would you save if you went to the ugly food section of the well, supermarket? Well on average it's about 30% less. 30%? Yeah and what's interesting to me James is you know only 10 years ago foods that now are classed as seconds yeah. used to be first grade. Oh. So okay. this is what I mean by these specifications in supermarkets mm. having become so high mm. that you know 25% of what's grown um, isn't brought into the supermarket to be sold because yeah. they think people won't buy it. That's a but, lot of food. Yeah, but what happened in yeah. France was when they launched this campaign not only did it increase traffic into their supermarket by 24% it launched oh. this huge worldwide movement. They got massive media attention and so we've got you know the major chains in the UK from Sainsbury's to yeah. Waitrose okay. to Tesco's and even in Canada mm. Loblo's have all started to embrace this movement okay. and luckily in Australia we're also embracing it. That's amazing. My skeptic's question was <laughs> aren't the supermarkets going to lose money but more people are shopping there? Well they're going to sell yeah. something that otherwise wasn't okay. able to be sold and I think the last point we need to remember is mm. you know if we all grew up on the farm mm. we would be more likely to accept any oddly shaped fruit or oh, vegetable okay. but when we grow up in the city or live in yeah. the city we don't have the same appreciation for yeah. what it takes. So um, I I think we need to embrace this. I need to, we mm. need to help do our part to reduce yeah. food waste, help farmers get yeah. more for their efforts, uh -huh. and at the same time, we'll save money for the family. Okay, well, let's look at this pimply pear. We were trying to think <laughs> of a name for this with its nice little leaf. It's got, it's got an old leaf. Yes, got well, some humps and bumps. Some and you of them, it's nutritious. Yes, absolutely. Some okay. of them have qu the quirkiest names okay. you'll ever hear, such as lively lemons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, which section would you go to in Woolies? Well, they have special sections, yeah. um, and they will actually label that this oh. fruit is not their supposed first grade. Okay. But as I say, it's just as nutritious okay. and just as tasty. Yeah. Um, and you're going to save money yeah. at the same time. You know, I'm going to test this out, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucks. Here we go, the pimply pear. Mm. It's just as good. We're torn. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Surprise, surprise. <laughs>